If you don't know who I am, my name is Sharon. Contrary to the popular belief of my name is scrolling past your newsfeed. It's Sharon, not Sharon. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. How are you doing? How are you? So let's make the good coffee. I'm making, I'm making a mocha today because I feel chocolatey. I feel chocolatey and I want it. And I decided to wear this sweater today because the forecast said it was going to be windy. And your girl does not like to be cold. So we put this sweater on. I like it. It's oversized sweater. It's a little big in it, but it looks cute. That's what matters. And it matches my leggings. If you can see that. I don't know. You may. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, so we have almond milk here. Heated up, and I did not decide I was going to, you know, heat it up on screen or anything like that. We did it before. You know, we were smart. Amen. So my coconut palm sugar that I... Really enjoy adding to my latte today. And I'm making a mocha. So we want the mocha to actually be kind of sweet. So let me add one more little teaspoon in here. Okay. So I have my chocolatey greens. And what type of video is this when your girl does not, like, she forgets the scissors all the time. Like, all the time. Okay. So chocolate greens. So super bomb. I love it. This is how I make hot chocolate in the afternoon when I'm cold. I use chocolate grains. When I decide I want to make a mocha that's not like spiking my insulin levels and allowing me to not burn fat and calories, I add this. This is what we do. This is how we do it. So I got my water. We added our coconut palm sugar. I'm going to add in my chocolate greens. Boom. And it's so good because it gives you um, 32 superfoods and vegetables, 74 trace minerals. So bomb. Um, gives you Aquaman. So from naturally sourced areas, it's super, super. It's so good. It's really, really good. It's perfect for your body. Great for immunities. Like, like, can I tell you, your girl has not even had like a sniffle. And if I had a sniffle, we doubled up on our greens in the day and we didn't all that that ship sailed gone so we're adding the skinny brew to this as well mixy mixy i'm mixing it on the high setting today because i really want it fast and quick fast and quick mocha oh my gosh i didn't get rid of the whipped whip cream you gotta get the whipped cream Guys, it's four days to my birthday. It's four days. Four days to my birthday. It's four days. Make it to my birthday. Hey, Yetis, how are you? <laughs> okay. So, making a mocha this morning. Boom. Oh, look at all that good foam today, y'all. I live for the foam. I live for it. Like, I live for this foam. It's so good. Maybe I'll just leave the foam on there because, like... I mean, I do want whipped cream. Maybe she should add both. Maybe she should add both. It's my birthday in four days. Let's add the whipped cream. Let's just do it. Where is it? Let's do it. I have to stop on the top and do the thing. There we go. We don't need a lot. We don't need a lot. We just need something. Uh-oh, we're back in the top. Look at it. Look at your girl. She's so cool. We don't know how to put things on the top of them. So we're just so cool. Okay. So we put the whipped cream, we have our foam, and then we're going to top it off with some cinnamon because I just want that look. I want it. I want the look. We want look. You got look. Who remembers that song? You got look. You got look. Who remembers that? I'm old. <laughs> Oh my goodness, can I say that I'm old when I'm 38? Probably not. <laughs> old is 80, old is 80. I really were like resigned that old is 80. What is going on here? Something in my eyeball, some hair. Oh Jesus, take the hair out the eye. Ooh, do we get it out? Do we get it out? No. Okay, I think we did. Okay, I think we did. All right. Yay, we got it out. 
So what are we doing? We're going to turn it around. Turn it around Tuesday. How do we turn it around? Well, we, <laughs> we stop worrying about all the stupid crap. We stop worrying about all the stupid crap. And we turn it around. Like, how do we turn that? How do we do that? Well, we fix our, we fix our own attitudes. The common denominator in all things er, is myself. So we're going to fix the thing, all things. We fix Sharon first. How do we do that? We turned it around. We, our attitudes have to turn around. Like, turn around. New attitude. Turn around. New attitude. Like, <laughs> that has to be. <laughs> Tuesday. Turn it around. How are you going to turn around? Your attitude has to be better. Like, it just has to be better. Like, sometimes your attitude's be like, eh, wah, 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 wah. like, your attitude is, like, jacked up because, like, whatever, whatever, whatever. But guess what? You got it on Tuesday. This is what you got to do. New attitude. New attitude. Like, that's how it has to be. Like, it has to be like that. Because otherwise, like, you're not turning, or, turning it around for yourself. It's going to, like, allow you to stay stuck. It's going to allow you to stay stuck. They ain't stuck. You stuck. They're not stuck. You're stuck. You got you to gotta turn it around. Turn your attitude around. Turn it around. Hallelujah. New attitude. New attitude. Like, that's how you got to do it. Like, that's Tuesday. Turn it around. Turn around. Like, that's it. Practical. Practical content today. Hallelujah. Here we go. We're going to turn around Tuesday. New attitude. Do that. We turn it around. We got to turn ourselves around. We got to change that attitude. Turn it around. Change that attitude. How are you going to change it? Fixing fixing the brain sometimes. How do we fix the brain? Sometimes we got to read a book. Sometimes we got to listen to a sermon, a podcast, something. Something that's going to allow our brains to be richer than what we're like thinking about. Because the, the thoughts of the crap is not helping us. That's not helping. It's not, it's not fruitful and it's not profitable. Like, seriously, it's really not. It's not profitable for your life. It's not helping you. It's not fruitful. It's not getting you anything. So we need to stop with that. Stop, stop, stop with that. And turn it around. Turn that attitude around. Again, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? Turn around. Turn around that attitude. Just don't even think about it. And if you have to think about it, okay, I'm not trying to be, like, be Pollyanna. That's not how I live my life. No, we don't live a Pollyanna life. What we do is we feel the feelings. Okay, that was, uh, or whatever you may want to say. Out. And then you have to just pray about it and then allow that to go. Like, just go, you know. The Bible says, Exodus 14, 14, that he will fight for you and you shall remain peaceful. So there's nothing that God, we don't have to see, we don't even have to lift a finger. We don't have to lift a finger. We don't have to lift a finger. And it's the same thing, like, when the Israelites were, like, getting ready to go, you know, to the river, through the river, hallelujah. And God, like, was like, I'm a part this. I'm a part of this. Hallelujah. And so when they decided the, the Israelite, the Pharaoh's people, hallelujah. This is Sharon's layman like terms, okay? So when the Pharaoh decided he was gonna come, and then they were like, Oh, we don't have to lift a finger. Guess what? They walked and the, the Lord took care of it. Hallelujah. That's all you have to do. As long as you take care of you and you walk where God's telling you to walk, amen. He gonna take care of those battles. You just remain peaceful. There's nothing that you need to do. You don't have to call nobody. You don't have to like do anything. You don't have to do any of those things because God is going to take care of it for you. He gonna take care of it. He gonna take care of it. You may so in some cases you may need to receive. Um, you may not receive an apology. You may not receive an apology, but that's okay. It's your. It's you. Have to turn it around. You're the common denominator, boo. You have to turn it around. That's why I'm telling you. The common denominator in all situations are is you, boo. And so guess what you get to do? Turn it around with your attitude. How do you do that? Just feel the feelings. Turn it around. Feel the feelings. Again, I'm not telling you be Pollyanna. I'm telling you to feel the feelings. Feel the feelings. If you're pissed off, be pissed. Be angry. Be upset. Do those things. But don't allow that to like rule your day don't allow that to rule your mind don't allow that to steal your peace don't allow that to steal your joy your happiness throughout your day that should not even happen this is when you need to turn it around just like Sharon. practical content hallelujah turn it around and change that attitude amen turn it around 
and change that attitude so that you can live your life and you can feel good and you can have you can have joy in your heart and you can have you know relaxing days and peace in your day and all this extraness because if you could decide you're going to continue to keep dealing with all the extra circumstances and allow that to infiltrate you your peace your family life all the things you will never be able to feel like you're breathing like every single time you're feeling like you're just drowning i can't breathe like all that like no like boo like you can do it. You can turn it around. Just turn around your attitude. Turn around that. The whole situation. You can do it by your own actions. You don't have to wait for them. Why do you got to wait for them? Just so that you can be upset? No. No, 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 no. No. Turn it around yourself. Amen? We're all adults. We can turn it around. It's just, do we choose to or do we not to? Do we choose to be upset all the time? Or do we choose to just, okay, squash the crap and move freaking on? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it is. Like, and that's, this is how you turn it around, you know? Like, you really just have to squash the crap and move on because it's not fruitful or profitable to what you're about to do. Like, it's not helping you. It's not helping you lose weight. It's not helping you make money. It's not helping you in your job. It's not helping you talk with people. It's not helping you watch television. It's not helping you do any of those things. And you try to relax and you can't relax because you're dealing with all this crap. St Stop and turn around. Just stop and turn around. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just do it. Just do it. And it will help you. Forget all them. Hallelujah. Allow them to trip up on their own stuff because they're going to have to deal with their own um, actions and their own conscience, you know, by saying whatever they said or doing whatever they did. You have to just remain peaceful. You allow God to do what he's going to do with you in your life. And get excited about that. Get excited about what God's about to do. And stop worrying about like the next person's about to do. Because that's not helping you. Again, not fruitful, not profitable. We're in the business of doing things that are going to be fruitful and profitable for our lives, for our businesses, for ourselves, you know, for our peace, you know. It means nothing to me to have my peace disrupted all the day long. All the day long. It, just, it means nothing. It means nothing. And then for me to just continue to keep feeling that? Oh, no, no, no. The devil is a liar. Oh, no. He got me all jacked up. He got me all twisted up in the game. <laughs> Who remembers that movie, Bringing Down the House? He got me all twisted up in the game. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, y'all, take, take Tuesday. You know how I always say, take it Tuesday? No, we're just going to turn it around. We're going to turn it around. We're not, we're not only going to take, we're not going to take what we need. Hallelujah. We're going to turn it around. We're going to turn around our attitudes, turn around this ridiculousness, turn around our circumstances. We have the power to do it. Let's just do it. Let's not wait for the next person to allow them to turn around our situation. No, we have the power to turn around our situation on our own. We can do it. We can do it. We can and we will. And what we do to God be all the glory. We can totally do it. We don't need anybody to help things turn around for us. We can do it ourselves. Amen. The only person you need in your corner is the Lord. Hallelujah. And he going to turn it around and you going to remain peaceful. As it says in Exodus um, 14, 14, it says, he, this says the Lord shall fight for you and you will remain peaceful. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you, Lord. I love that. I love that. I if I know that if I'm hiding in the shadow of the Almighty, if I'm hiding in His in His wings, if I'm hiding in His word, if I'm hiding in His um in in His wings, however you want to say it, whatever the word, however the word allows you to like begin to, if you're hiding in the Lord, there's nothing nobody else can touch you. Like it, it's 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 done. It says, "Touch my anointed, not and do my prophets no harm." And the Bible also says there's no rest for the wicked. It gives sweet sleep to his saints. Sweet sleep. Sweet sleep. How are you sleeping? Are you sleeping good? Or are you allowing the, uh, the, the unrest of the situation or the circumstances to allow you to not get any rest? Again, sis, you're going to have to turn that around. You have the power to turn it around. Just turn it around. Just turn it around. Change the attitude of the whole situation. Because again, we are the common denominators in the whole situation. We have the power to change that. And if we can do that, then the Lord is, again, is going to fight our battles because we are remaining peaceful. Amen. We don't have to move a finger. We don't have to just, we don't have to cut them. We don't have to do any of that. 
We don't have to call them. We don't have to do any of those things because God is going to take care of it. God will take care of it. He will totally take care of it. He'll totally take care of it. I remember one time and just like a, just like happened a long time ago. Me and my husband are like even more super, super solid. But me and my husband got into a horrible, horrible um, argument. And, like, I will never forget, I just was, like, feeling so bad, like, in my spirit, just, like, I was just, like, this is super sucky, you know? Like, he, we, like, we, and we were arguing, you know? I remember sitting outside and just looking up, like, just looking up at the sky and just, like, my heart just kind of just broke, you know? And I just looked at the sky and not even an hour later, like, seriously, not even an hour later, my husband calls and he says, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. Like, I was just not, I was completely out of line, you know, and he apologized and I apologized and then all was good. I didn't have to lift a finger. I didn't have to call him up. I didn't have to text him and say, you made, you made me feel bad. No, 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 no. I don't have to do any of those things. God takes care of it all. He takes care of it all. He takes care of it all. Better is one day in his courts than a thousand elsewhere. Better is one day in his courts. Better is one day. And that's why the Bible says, you know, um, um, submit to God, resist the enemy, and he will flee. You have to submit to God first. How do you submit to God? Well, you listen, you, you read his word, you, you talk with him, you continue to have that relationship with him, you submit to God, okay? And then the enemy, um, and then the enemy will flee you but you have to first submit to god okay like you can't like you can't do one before the other like the enemy will not flee if you're not submitted to god it's just really where it's at he will stay where he will stay right there and my husband said something so like profile and i like i i mean i mean whatever take it however you want to but he was like saying that the enemy is like he knows who we are. Like, we just don't know who we are, you know? Excuse me. He's like, he was telling me, he says, um, the enemy has been around for thousands of millennia and knows all the tricks and the ways that we, you know, that us humans are. And so when he knows those things, he knows that he can prick one particular situation and that will like create a whole stream of events for you. You know, he knows where to get to the vulnerable spots because he's been around people and humans for longer than we have. And he's studied us. He has studied us. Okay. And so we cannot be ignorant to the enemy, uh, to the devices of the enemy. We need to understand that he, ha he knows who we are before we even know. And so because he knows he's super calculated in how he um, gets our vulnerability, how he gets us, like how he just, just really just, uh, he's like very, very calculated. So we got to be calculated in making sure that when we are, you know, praying, we, we're completely submitted to God. We're not doing anything else. And our attitudes are completely turned around because that is the only thing that's going to allow us to live this life in peace have peace, gain peace, walk in peace, all the things, all the things. And also too, it's going to allow you to live, have that light and be that light, you know, that the light, sh you know, the light shines from within you, you know, if you're that, if you are, you know, the light that has been hidden, you know, God's not, a, he's not wanting you to be hid. He says to go on the hill. He says you should not be hidden, right? A light should not be hidden. Don't hood it. Hide under a bushel. No, I'm going to let it hide. You could, no, no, he's not allowing you to hide like that. So you're going to have to turn around your own attitude. You're going to have to change it. You're going to have to change it so that you can walk circumspectly in the correct way that the, that the Lord wants you to. That's just where it's at. That's where it's at. I love y'all. I really, really love y'all. This content is super bomb today. Like I have to say, like, I'll have to watch it for myself so I can get something. Because this is super bomb. Like, literally. I'll have to, like, probably watch this again, like, for myself. You know? Like, the minister ministers, y'all. Like, I I am nobody. I am nobody. The only thing I am is a person who is cool enough to read the book. Okay? The book is cool. All right? You want to be cool? You want to have cool points? You got to read the book. You got to read the book. Okay? 
That's the only way it makes me even halfway remotely cool or even a third. I don't even think I'm that cool. I just read the book, okay? I just read the book. I love y'all. Have a fantastic day. Turn it around. Turn that attitude around. Turn the beat around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Do whatever you need to do. Turn it around. I don't know. Like it could be like Gloria Stefan. I don't know. It could be that. Hey, mom. I don't know. What? Am I not cool since I don't even know what book you're talking about? What? Am I not cool since I don't even know which book you're talking about? I'm not talking about a book. That's where it's at. I'm talking about Gloria Estefan, talking about turn the beat around because we just turn in our attitudes around today. Tuesday, we turn it around. We turn it around. We're not allowing the circumstances of our day, week, month, whatever, the year. We're not going to allow that to infiltrate our day any longer. We're going to turn it around. All right, y'all. I love you. Have a great day.